Hello, the uh, topic today is the Angel Grade Book. This is probably the part of Angel, the tool in Angel that we get the most help requests from instructors for. It's the thing that, that trips people up probably more often than anything else. It's also, ironically, the tool that people like the most when they uh, usually like the most when they differentiate Angel from other systems. So it's, uh, it's a complex, powerful tool. It has a lot more uh, capabilities than you might be used to if you're used to one of the other course management systems out there. A uh, piece of advice in general, especially if you're just getting started, is keep it simple. Try to stay to a point-based gradebook unless there's a compelling reason not to. And don't get too fancy with the, the formulas and the customizations. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at it. In Angel, grades are tracked on a course-by-course -course basis. So within each course space, there's a gradebook. And that is accessible on the Manage tab. Before I go into the gradebook, let me say that uh, in an Angel gradebook, you can have gradebook assignments that link to content items, such as a quiz or an assignment Dropbox. Or you can have gradebook assignments which represent something that happened outside of Angel, such as a class presentation. So you can have content items like a quiz or a Dropbox uh, or a survey that link to a gradebook assignment. Or you can have those things not linked to a gradebook assignment, just be non-graded. Um, and you can have gradebook assignments that don't link to a content item in Angel. Uh, regardless, you'll find those in the gradebook on the Manage tab. And when I first go into the gradebook, the first time I've gone into a gradebook for a certain class, it will take me to this gradebook wizard here. Now I could go through this and I can tell the gradebook what category names I want, uh, how those category grades are to be calculated, all that sort of thing. But for now, I'm going to just skip that wizard take me right into the gradebook. Okay. Um, <clears throat> when you're in the when you're in a gradebook in Angel, like I said, you have gradebook assignments, and each one of those assignments must be in a category. A category might be homework, midterms, exams. Um, if you don't specify a category for a gradebook assignment, it will be put into the uncategorized category. Okay. So on the right hand side of my view here within gradebook management. I have uh, ways to specify the names of the categories, the assignments that are in those categories. I can also set a custom grading scale and uh, macros if I want. For now, we're just going to look at the categories in the assignments before we go into using the gradebook. All right, currently in this gradebook, there are no categories. So I might want to have a new category. And I'm going to call it uh, homework. I can specify if I want all the all the assignments in the category used, how the you know all that sort of thing. There's also an an auto weight, auto calculate for the weight. So what that will do if I use auto calculate, as I specify the number of points possible for assignments, it will just automatically figure the the weight in the gradebook based on the total number of points available. Okay, the release date here is is kind of important. This lets me. Um, say when this category of gradebook items or the release date for a specific assignment are going to start to affect the grade. So if this is, let's say there's a, we're, we're looking at the release date for a specific assignment and that release date is set to be on the 20th of June. Um, after the 20th of June in the gradebook it will show that the student should have gotten the points possible for that assignment, and their grade will suffer if they don't if they haven't done the assignment yet. So this is a way to set essentially set when assignments will start to affect the the grades. Okay. okay so I now have one category. I'm going to make another category called exams. And again, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm not going to specify any anything other than that it's a category and that it's to be auto-calculated. Okay. So now that I have two categories here, one of the things I can do is I can put a checkbox there and I can edit that category. So I can always go back and, uh, and change it if I want to. I could also delete it. Show tasks will let me do things like reorder the way that the categories are listed in the gradebook. I can add assignments or view assignments from here. Instead of doing that, I'm going to go back to the main menu and 
on the assignments tab here, which or the assignments link, which is right below the categories link, I can go in there and I can start to create assignments. So, like, let's say I'll do week one homework. And I'll make it worth 10 points. And it's part of the homework category. It's manually entered because I'm going to be collecting people's homework, looking at it, and then creating a, a grade for them. Okay. So, okay. All right. So I'm now I'm in my grade book. I could, if I look at the grades, I'll see um, an overall score, a overall for each category, and then the score for each homework assignment. And I mentioned earlier that I could uh, have content items in Angel in the lessons area um, be linked into the gradebook. So what I'm going to do now is go to the lessons tab and I'm going to create a gradable item from here. I'll, um, make a, I'll make a Dropbox. This is a place where assignments go to drop off finished work for instructors. And I'll call this one the week two homework assignment because where I collected their their papers in week one, um, that got to be a lot of work for me, and we talked about it as a class, and we decided that we're going to use a Dropbox angel. So I've got this Dropbox that the student can come here. 